Welcome to the Teaching and Learning Center's Articulate Storyline tutorial series. In this tutorial, we introduce Storyline and cover the basic authoring tools that the software provides. This tutorial introduces Storyline's interface, objects, and slide templates. When you first open Storyline, you will be presented with this screen. From the initial tab, you can access any of the tutorials provided by the Articulate team. The second tab provides access to the free downloads and template packs provided by Articulate. On the left side of the screen, you can open a new project or open a recent project. Further options include recording the screen and importing information from other programs. For this tutorial, we will begin by creating a new project from scratch. When you open your new project, you will be presented with the story view. The main section outlines the story of your project, with the gray surrounding box representing a scene and the internal boxes representing individual slides. On the right side of the screen, you can easily control triggers and slide properties. A great deal of editing can be conducted directly from the story view page by using the toolbar provided at the top of the screen. To enter the slide view, double click any slide within story view. The slide view should be familiar to anyone who has used Microsoft PowerPoint. The main area in the center acts as your central workspace for the slide. On the left side of the screen is the slide organization panel. The right side of the screen provides trigger controls and slide layer management. The top of the screen provides all of the tools you will need to create and control content on your slide. Finally, the bottom of the screen displays the current slide's timeline as well as the slide's states and any notes you wish to attach to the slide. To create your project, you will need to include objects for your slides. Storyline supports many different types of objects, all of which can be accessed through the Insert tab. Through the Insert tab, you can add illustrations such as pictures, screenshots, shapes, and captions, media such as video, flash, sound, and web objects, text, and interactive objects such as triggers, buttons, hotspots, and markers. Once you have added an object to your slide, you can easily edit it through the Format tab. One of the most interesting object types that can be utilized through Storyline is characters. Characters come in two types, photographic and illustrated. Choose a character from the list provided. You can choose whether the character will face left, front, or right. Once the character has been selected, you can choose a specific expression as well as a pose. Once a character has been inserted, it can be controlled in the same fashion as any other storyline object. Creating each slide from scratch can be repetitive and time consuming. Fortunately, Storyline provides several templates that will allow you to produce your projects even faster. To create a new slide from a template, select New Slide from the Home tab. From the window that opens, you can choose from a list of templates. There are two types of template, static and interactive. Static templates provide characters, color themes, content, and more. Interactive templates come preloaded with interactions to allow for easier and faster project creation. Once you have selected a template, you can easily swap objects to personalize your project. It is just as easy to create your own templates. Once your slide is complete, select Save As. From the drop-down list, select Storyline Template as the type. You can now reuse this template for new slides or share them online. Be sure to check out the next part of this tutorial series, which will show you how to add interactivity to your Storyline projects. Thank you for watching this Articulate Storyline tutorial.